Hello there, my name is Carlos Arteaga from Cisco TAC. Today, I will show you how to register a Cisco FTD device to an FMC using one of its data interfaces, instead of the management interface. This may be used for cases in which the FMC is not reachable by the management interface. Please note, that this configuration is not supported yet for FTD high availability environments, this is only supported for standalone devices. For this example, we have an FMC in version 7.2.4, and will register a virtual FTD in version 7.2.2 using its outside interface. We will be using private IP addresses, but this can be done using public IP addresses as well, as long as one IP is reachable by the other and vice versa, this configuration will be feasible. In order to start, we need to open the FMC GUI and the FTD CLI, which will be done via console. This FTD is right out of the box and does not have any configuration. First, let's type the configure manager add command, followed by the FMC IP address, and the registration key. Now, we need to define which interface will be used to register the FTD to the FMC. For that, we need to use the show interface IP brief command. In this case, we will use gigabit ethernet 00, so let's take a copy of that. Then, we need to define an interface name which will be outside for this example, and its IP configuration. For that, we must use the configure network management data interface command and press enter. From there, we will get a prompt to fill all the required information for this configuration. Here, we will use the interface ID that we copied a few moments ago. Then, define its name, which will be outside for this case. After that, we input the manual command to manually set up the IP configuration. Here, we input the IP address that will be used for the outside interface, followed by its netmask and the default gateway. Optionally, we may configure its DNS server, which will be Cisco Umbrella's IP address for this example. For this case, we will not use a DDNS server update URL, but please note that this can be configured from here. After we have got the network settings changed message, we may proceed with the normal registration procedure. Now, let's head back to the FMC GUI, go to Devices tab and then Device Management. We go to Add and click Device. From here, we need to add all the details for the FTD that is going to be registered. For Host, we will add the FTD outside interface IP address that we just configured. For display name, we may configure any name that we wish, or leave it as the same IP address. The registration key needs to be the exact same as we used on the FTD CLI. Optionally, we may add a group, but it will not be done for this example. And finally, we will add this device to an access control policy that was previously configured. Now, let's hit that register button and wait for the registration to complete. We may check the registration progress from the notifications menu on the top right corner and go to tasks.
With the device fully registered, we can click on it to open its configuration and go to Interfaces tab. Here, we can validate that the outside interface is indeed being used for registration. This completes the desired configuration for this video, feel free to contact Cisco if any additional information is required. Thank you for watching.